The shot unanswered from Kano. All season long, he's had support from Turbo. And he won't let up now. Four seconds left. NRG need this immediately. They've got to kick him in their favor. Kano tries to clear. It is almost there. It just hasn't hit the floor. But a Panda puts it the long way. And it's almost there. Justin keeps it alive. Turbo pulls it there. Bounces it. It's a corner. NRG still around. Justin is there for the shot. And it's Chance for Cloud9 if Gimmick can get a strong shot. Going for the double can tap. Can he hit it? Bounces it by the defense. Gimmick with the highlight reel shot. Everyone looking for the hard shot to net. He goes underneath the ball. Kate up, even trying to read that. Final minute. This was the score line in game three. Cloud9. Unable to take it, but squishy now. With a daily <laughs> shot, he puts it through. He's been going for this stuff all season, and he pulls it off here in the most clutch moments. The player to invent the shot himself <laughs> is able to get the delayed front flip. Not really sure who's going to go for the clears. Devo looks for the pressure. Open no net. Way. Can he double tap this in? Oh Devo! my goodness. The Oceana region named that move after this player, and look at him perform here on the world stage. Reading Fairy Peaks first touch. What is that? Right now in this game, but NRG gonna try and extend it. Sparman wraps it around. Garrett G moves up. The screen plays. They oh, it. Yeah. It. The yeah. it's a three-goal game. He baited them so hard for this. The play had been so fast-paced. He just stopped. Marky and Greasy missing that, and Cooks are getting demolished. All of flip side removed off the pitch. NRG. It's gonna be Laz over to go rocks out to the midfield for Pepper. He wants the second touch. How about three? Oh. How about four? Nomad oh finds it. Goodness. That is a beautiful setup from Pepper. Great touches from Pepper. I'm not sure if he really exactly meant for this to be a pass. I think he was trying to get up and over it, but what a touch from mm -hmm. him. And Nomad knew that was happening the whole time and puts that one away. Now in front of the net, Freaky's up. All alone and uncontested. Very big, some extra pace to it. And then gets the pinch in front of the goal pass. He puts the shot in. What was this pass from Fairy Peak? Again, turning it around so fast. Freaky clearing it all the way. Fairy Peak getting one, and then somehow he got that second touch. Mocket are on fire. Absolutely brilliant play from Mocket. Off, and Pastor will need to send it away. He makes the touch. Oh, and what? No, no way. What are you kidding me? Look at this pinch from Cook, sir. I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. 124 kilometers per hour. Um, Cooks. <laughs> I know you were talking about how much you like the Batmobile. Final moments to do it in regulation. Metsonaris gets a pass too. It's just Cooks in the back. Can he flick him out? Puts it underneath. Metsonaris puts the team on his back and gets the win here in game three. Just got to last two seconds. Knowing the pressure was there oh. and that Cooks here had to do something. We hope. We'll see that one away. Breezy to Marky. Cooks is waiting for that pass. He'll be up quick. He does off the backboard. A second touch from Cooks here. Oh my god! Able to react. Garrett over the top of one. Pass two. He's got Justin in support. Takes oh. it by himself. Garrett G. You see, Evil Genius is so worried here about the passing lanes, and Garrett G recognizes it. He goes for that first pop, beats Classics, the second to get past Corrupted G. Oh, and the third. No map. Strong touch, Sizz with the redirect, you're kidding me, this is beautiful. You, well done. You honestly can't beat anything as pretty as this. <laughs> Matt out to Sizz, who just, he even front flipped it to hold his car in the air. You think you've got a save? I'm sorry, my friend, you've only got my car hitting yours. Perfect example of what to do, not an option. Bluey's gonna get up in the air and bump him out of the way. Remaining now, Tadpole, looking for Adam. he set himself up. As he tries to get it back over to Tadpole, Ronicky looking for the, the shot. Double break bump what? as well. We are all tied up. I have never seen bumps in tandem from a team. Both defenders getting smacked. Andum taking one, Tadpole taking the other. Mountain says it both get smacked out. That was awesome. Trying to chase them down on that one. Fireburner has basically just passed it out, but Greasy gets in the way of Cooks's attempted shot. Back into the middle. Sad Junior. Nice flick. Looks for Jacob. Jacob. No way. Oh my God. The 
tournament. This passing play is phenomenal. Able to look out for your teammate, Sad Jr. Down to Jacob, who taps it right back into Sad Jr. In the same aerial. Seemingly easier demos are going to sue this Mocket squad down to the ground, although a lot puts that one straight up. That what? is the <laughs> angle of the century. I thought he was going to drop it down for a teammate, but instead he goes for the angle into net a lot out of his mind. What a way to open up the series. Defense coming out from this I by Power team. Defense and I by Power, not things you oh, usually talk about at the same time. He's carrying it. Oh, Grenoble, over they zero. can put it in. They stay alive. We go to game five. What was this coming off the wall? Dribbling it with that Batmobile, spinning it. And that, <laughs> that rotation from over zero was so well. Just off that side wall, but fire burner. He's still pretty much by himself. He's going to allow Devo to move himself forward. He's going to get a double tap off that side wall. Very impressive there by Devo. That's exactly how the OCE players know him. Devo is the double tap god as he plays one off, just rolling through, able to touch it again and put that in. Final minute of game number six, and Devo puts it out into the middle. Remco's the first one there, gets another touch. Oh my Magic. goodness, He's not able to touch it. A great play by Remco. What is that touch upside down? He gets the first hit and then corrects himself upside down to put it past Paji. To be aware of that, what? So much back and forth, but it's not just ping pong. They're setting up plays and they're getting scoring opportunities. Just blocked out every time by both oh, defense. Pass. There it is. Found the shot and gets the win. Four minutes and 20 seconds in overtime. He blazes it right in there and gets the win. Cooks here, the last defender back. Can't do anything. What a touch.